Well. Does say prepare to be flocked. I think we've got to do something right now. What was it? Ten taps. Four for the hell, one for the space, four for the yeah, and one to put a smile on my face. Right. Shall we start thy tapping? And we shall start this show. Greetings and salutations. It is nine o'clock on a Sunday night and Mel is back in his chair and he can be in his back in his chair. Apologies for the absent folks. Uh... In all honesty, a little bit of the black dog, yeah, a little bit. To be truthful, I think worn down, yeah, bad back. You know how it creeps in, yeah. But quick pat, feed him up, put me back in the chair, and here I am. Hello, hello. The boy is hiding in the other room. This picture, the webcam picture, is a bit. Hmm. You call me. I didn't call you as such. I try that. Hi guys. Hi guys, that's it. That's better. Me in full HD. Right. As you can see, he's come as a Jedi. Are you going to sit down? Yeah. Hello. Hey, Mel from Bonnie, Scotland. Hello. So, we've got the corbs. Right. Would, would you like to show the live stream your lockdown hair? Look at that. Look at it. Like father, like son, eh? Yeah. He looks like, like a, a, what do you call it? A Pokemon character. Pretty much. You know, with the, like the... She's diet green. Well, it is green. <laughs> yes, his hair, it's, it's not a, a, an issue with the colour filter on the camera. His hair is green, isn't it? Yeah. Not my fault. Go on, explain. It, it was dyed purple, and then from purple, it over time washed out and went to blonde, and then from blonde, it started going green. So basically, Corbin is going through his rainbow hair phase. We don't know what colour's going to come next. Pink? A little blue rinse? I was thinking about pink, but it was a bit bright. Corb looks more like a Wookiee Sith apprentice, that robe with that hair. Yeah. Looking for a red. Corb, when you have it cut, get your dad a wig made. <laughs> Do you know that hurts? That shouldn't hurt, but that hurts. Moss growing. I, I think so. I think so. Right, obviously, question and answers. We have some competition winners to announce. Yeah, uh, me and Dave have been chatting, uh, looking through the entries for the lived in competition. Some of them are brilliant. I've got to do some shenanigans, yeah, with the old screen, figure it out, but we can do that on the fly. Get off your phone on a bloody live stream. Back in a minute. Oh. Not on uh, You could give Corb an old style military haircut, Mal. He's going to have to have one when he kicks him back with cadets because there's no way he's going to fit that under his berry. Hey, James. Actually, to be fair, that I've tested you actually can. <laughs> I made sure I can actually fit it under a berry. As long as I like put water on the sides and like gel so it goes down on the side, because it can actually, it works well. The oh, this bit itself, it folds into the flap. No, no, you're not supposed to fold your hair into the flap well, of the does, berry. And it works. You'll end up with an aircraft carrier. Mate, it still pulls down to the side. I promise you, it works. It's too good. Do you see what I have to deal with? Do you see what I have Perfect. to deal with? <sighs> Perfect. Mm. Right. I need to first duplicate that. Uh, rename it. I've got to do some shenanigans. I've tried to figure this, yeah, but it had to update just before the live stream. So, got to do it again. Yeah. Uh, so Done. Yeah, and then we need <clears throat> I think I'm doing this right. I don't know if I'm doing this right. <laughs> yeah, uh, throw a sauce on. I need uh Uh, 
image image video capture window capture add source yeah uh, <laughs> that's what you can see right now uh, buh, buh, buh. yes uh. you can see what Corv's been up to right I need I've got to grab what you call it. Dave Taylor's link. Which I think is there. Don't worry. I do know what I'm doing. <coughs> ah, there we go. Got really bad hay fever, guys. It's not nice. Right. We should be able to do this. <coughs> Do I have any hay fever tablets? Yeah. No. Right. Uh, window capture properties. I've just got to figure this, guys. Streamlabs OBS. Yeah. Terrain Essentials. Oh, let's try that one. Ah, that's what I want. There you are. <coughs> I don't think that's done properly. Uh, right. Edit that down. Oh. Hold there. Window capture. We'll get there. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I'll chat with you in just a second. It's technical stuff, this. Ah. Right. Change off studio mode. Oh, no. Face cam. Right. I think I figured it. I see no cake, Mel. There is no cake. We are cakeless. Right. Kelly's saying she doesn't have cake. Tam's insane. I've got to grab Dave Taylor's link. Calm down, Tam. Filthy mind, that one. Filthy. Yeah. Uh, Kat, okay, time for us to call him and on the cell and tell him how to make it work. I figured it. Right. <clears throat> Let's do this. Yeah. I have popcorn. You just know it's going to be a car crash when someone says they've got popcorn. Right. Uh, suppose we better do the pandemic update. It's time for Pammy the Pandemic Panda. Yeah. And very quickly. The world's on fire and no one cares about COVID anymore. That's it. No one's talking about COVID anymore. You see people wearing masks and all it really means now is that we queue at the supermarket. Yeah, and the supermarket aisles are a bit less chaotic. Trust me, that will change as soon as it starts raining because that will go out the window as well. Yeah. Uh, now... Unless you're married, yeah, and then technically by the law, yeah, any nuki, yeah, it's going to be fined, yeah. Every dating site is taking a massive hit. Cub has no idea what I'm talking about. That I really don't. you really don't. Leave the saw alone. Leave the That's saw. Silly. Because it's been used. They wear masks so they can loot and burn. It's bizarre. I mean, I am in no way. The world's, the world's tearing itself apart. Pretty much. You know, and it's not pretty. And <sighs> Not what you do about it. There is very little. Other than be on the side of right. 
you know. And on the comments, I don't normally make political comments and that sort of stuff, but I tend to find when these things happen that, yeah, the world is a messy place. Nothing quite works right, and for all of best intentions, it's run by humans. And let's be honest, we're not the best of machines. When mistakes happen, some intentional, which aren't mistakes, and things need fixing. I think that the biggest problem is we've become a world of angry. It's the only way people are heard nowadays. You know how politics has become angry. I mean, I've watched a lot of American politics, especially over, you know, uh, the, the initial Trump campaign. And that I watched those sort of politics sleep, sort of seep into my politics in the UK. And with Brexit, Brexit was never a conversation, you know. And everything is one side or the other. You know, and you just don't fix shit like that. You just don't. You know? And I worry. Hello. You know? Because the angrier you get, you know, the deeper you go down that line, it's not an easy line to come back from. You know? And you got, I keep seeing photos of, you know, protesters, you know, one protesting side, you know, helping another and that sort of stuff. And humanity's still there. But. Oh, it's going to be tough, guys, in all honesty. It is. And with what's happening in the US and in the UK, and I don't know about other countries, to be truthful. Yeah. Uh, but I know about the UK and I know about the US and at the time it's happening, slap bang in the middle of a global pandemic, which to be perfectly honest, yeah, us so-called leaders of the free world, we ain't doing too well on. I'm just sitting here watching it all play out. And it's frustrating screaming at the windows. But all I can do is hope it works out. I hope some sense comes from the mess. Because if it escalates, it's just going to get nastier. And what's worse, it's going to get nastier all round because it's not just what's going on on the streets. It's the fact that we're in the middle of a global pandemic and we've seemed to have just, okay, let's ignore that. <sighs> Billy's saying here in the States, the looters have taken most of Seattle and have taken over City Hall. I might saying, uh, hey, but uh, far left and far right are hijacking for their own political ends. Yeah, this is it. That's one of the things that I don't like. I mean, the whole point of politics is to resolve the conflicts of the people. You know, that's, that's why we have our representatives of different sides and we have politics. I'm sure one of you smart people will tell me the origin of the word politics. Yeah, which will mean something about, you know, sorting shit out. Uh, but instead, things are hijacked. Instead of two sides coming together and going, right, let's how, how are we going to sort this? We have this situation where everything is slanted from one view or another to re you know, to build a side up and it doesn't work. What we need is a good old-fashioned alien invasion to unite the world. Yeah. Do you know, at one point, yeah, I actually thought they'd announced aliens. I genuinely did. Yeah, because... 
I, I'd, I'd step back from the real world for a little while to deal with Mel world, if you know what I mean. When I came back, I started to notice lots of mimes about aliens. Mimes. Memes, whatever you call them. Yeah. Really. What? You look like, in fact, you probably, you have just got up. What? You look literally like you've just woke up. I woke up yet. He hasn't. But now I was checking and it's like, there's lots of, and I actually had to reach out to someone and just go, look, in this craziness with everything else going on, have they subtly like let out some news that aliens really do exist? You know, like slipped it out. Right, politics derives from polls, the city. Okay, uh, I was hoping for something a little bit better. Uh, far left and far right often prearrange their violence. Yeah. I reckon you should put the politicians in a gladiatorial pit and let the winner determine the answer. Now, you see, John, this goes back to my, what you call it, my original idea of, you know, whacker duty, a bit like jury duty that we started these live shows on back in January, in March, sorry, where... You know, you should get a letter through the post, have to go sit in an office in a civil building with a large, like, haddock. Yeah, and any time some politician starts talking, yeah, you go along and... <laughs> well, I'm trying to take me seriously. You just say, say Cornholio. No, because I actually know what that is anymore. <laughs> Corn, say Cornholio. <laughs> Oh, so I need GP for my bungal. <laughs> oh, so right, me and Corp, uh, after we've done this show, we've got Lord of the Rings. Well, he's got an hour of arc. Actually, no, what we're going to do is go straight to Lord of the Rings. We keep forgetting it. And I bet you if I sit down for arc again, I'm going to forget it. Right, so you want to go straight for Lord of the Rings? It'll take 15 minutes. Half hour? Half hour, then. Yeah. And then we're at Lord of the Rings. We are starting with Fellowship. Because we've had a bit of a break, haven't we? Yeah. With Dad's back and everything. Yeah. And so we are getting it on. If the government announces in aliens, nobody would believe them right now. You see, this is what I was wondering. Whether they'd let it slip because, you know, the world's simply on fire. <laughs> are you threatening me? Yes, I am. I don't know what with, but I am. Uh, uh, uh. Politics derives from the Greek word politiki, ah, affairs of the cities. In the UK, we just have a herds of cats running the country. I don't even think. <laughs> Unfortunately, people would rather yell and protest rather get than getting their message across an intelligent conversation. I think one of the problems is intelligent conversation has stopped. In all honesty. You know, because we have this left and this right thing where facts don't matter anymore. You know, they just don't. Or you have alternative facts. I mean, I'm not sure. Yeah. Don't even look. Just don't even look. I'd like to take a moment to talk to you about the cause of my mental health problems. <laughs> Start with a W. <laughs> you, you're blaming your sister, even now. I didn't say Willow. <laughs> when did I say Willow? God, I'll keep his thoughts Willow. That must mean it, it really is. Uh, one American president once said, the last person you should elect to a position of power is someone who wants power. Yes. Yes. So I, I always think position, political positions should be the sort of jobs that no one wants. Yeah, so that the only people who go for them are people who actually really want to take the grief to do some good. I also think polit polit politic polit politicians, yeah, when they don't get re-elected, they shouldn't, what you call it, they shouldn't be allowed to just disappear. 
you know, and walk away from their screw ups. I think they should spend the same amount of time, yeah, for like, or a period of time, still engaging with the community that they served, explaining why they didn't serve them. And here we, uh, Mr. Johnson and Mr. Trump running with uh, two people who are power. I'm not even going to read that, Jace. I, I think I think both of them are, are jilted in one way or another, <laughs> in different ways, to be truthful. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I mean, Johnson saw, I mean, I'm not going to comment about Trump because I don't think it's fair. You know, I, I'll, I'll talk about my prime minister. Yeah. Johnson, I think, he saw an opportunity with Brexit, yeah? And to be perfectly honest, I think if Johnson, yeah, had seen what 2020 had on the cards, yeah, there's no way he would have gone near that job. I mean, May, Cameron, they're probably like, I am so glad I didn't have to deal with this. You realise this is recorded, don't you? Yeah. And like, people can come back and look at this and yeah. like your mates. Yeah. And your cadet mates. And your instructors. Say hi. Hi. And Caden single again. So. Don't talk about your brothers or your cousins, what you call it, dating life on YouTube. Also, yeah, he's like a yo-yo. Of course he's going to be single again. And in a couple of days, he's going to be dating again. Yep. And that's all I'll say on that matter. Politicians should be legally accountable to their manifesto promises. I think that there needs to be an, a political accountability. Yeah, I, d I don't believe you should be able to make such huge decisions then walk away. You know what I mean? Didn't I see that guy in Young Frankenstein? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, <laughs> uh, ah. Uh. I think the majority of politicians in my country have been doing a, a good job lately. I, I'm not dissing all politicians you know i think he's having a bit of a mental health day himself he certainly is he certainly is yeah i'll send some volume now mel yep that'd be handy yeah no i i don't diss all politics i don't hit all politicians yeah uh but there are certainly politicians who are not in it for what the job's supposed to be I think I'd feel more of a presence. I'd do quite a good job. Mate, I think with your green hair and how you look like now, you've got probably the same chances as Buckethead, who did rather well in, in the last by-election. Who's that? Do you not remember Lord Buckethead? No. Three lasers for all. What? Do you not remember Lord Buckethead? I wasn't really looking at it, to be fair. Okay, do you remember when there was... Was it May? Prime Minister May, what you call it, he ran in her constituency against her and he came close as well. Yeah, it was like her MP one, yeah, where she votes to be an MP and some dude basically created Lord Buckethead, black costume, black bucket over his head and he got some serious votes, yeah, and his campaign were free lasers for all. I am right on that. You've got that for the UK. Corbyn looks like he has giant toothache. Quite possibly. Mel, we should we should run a real democracy. Every five years, we should have a live TV show where everyone's national insurance number is in a tumbler. <laughs> and it turns out to be the PM or Chancellor. Not sure. Do you see, although I like that idea, and I've got I crazy runaway too. eyebrows at the minute for some reason. It's my 45 stage. Yeah. Although I really like the idea, I fundamentally believe that, you know, people do a job 
that have the skill set and the knowledge and the experience to do the job well. Yeah, so for general politicians, yeah, you go going in the first clap time, yeah, I like the tumbler idea. I like the tumbler idea, okay? Uh, for, for leadership posts, I'd rather them to have some experience, but at the same time, yeah, if you were in politics and you happened to go to university to study politics, well, you didn't decide you wanted to represent the people when you were 16 and doing your A-levels, did you? Your career in politics is not about representing the people you have been elected to represent. Your career in politics is about representing your A-level choices and your future career prospects. Our country is not your future career. I know that's all I'll say on that. Lord Bucket got 249 votes. What's that? Lord Bucket got 249 <laughs> votes. That's still a lot, Tam. <laughs> I, I, listen, I on this matter, yeah, Mel is choosing to go with his own alternative facts. Yeah. yeah, of Lord Bucket had almost beat May in her by-election. Now, obviously, clearly, I am aware, and I am stating that, I am aware of the facts, and clearly he didn't. Yeah? I just think it's comedy value. So I'm just going to reframe that little one in my head, in my own little world, is that way. But in the real world, I will be factual, and I rep will represent the facts. In Mel's world, Lord Buckethead came this close to beating May. I could have had three lasers for all. Can you imagine? What does he mean by lasers? Because there's many different things that mean by lasers. Oh, you should have read his manifesto, mate. Probably been on the internet somewhere. No, no, he, yeah, he, no, they, he had a genuine manifesto. Look up Lord Buckethead's manifesto. Right, that sound. Right. Now, uh, that's uh, radical experience people to run government, to teachers running education, generals running the uh, police, run, doctors. I know. I mean, who would ever think that doctors could possibly run the NHS better than a load of middle management who've ground it into the ground? Bob Bobby Smith of Give Me Back My Elmo Party got three votes. That's him, his mum and his dad. <laughs> Does your son know who his Mar Marty Fil Fieldman is? He is the perfect clone of him. I've got two now. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> No, do you know who they think you look like? Yeah, I do. That's not good. That's not nice. Right. Google Young Frankenstein. <laughs> Jansen's saying, to be fair, Mel, you can be a doctor and not have management oh. skills. Effective management is not an easy skill to master. Jansen, I agree with you. But what I'm saying is, yeah, if you have doctors who started in a junior doctor and worked the wards, did the job, and then moved up into managerial positions as they acquired managerial skills as their continued professional development, then at least the people at the top know what the job is at the bottom, yeah, and can understand how their decisions actually affect the workings of it. So I'm not disagreeing that doctors or... I'm. Not, Yeah, 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 yeah. He had a bucket on his head. He's Lord Buckethead, I'm not joking. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is with the police, I'm not saying that, uh, you know, a policeman can run a police force. What I'm saying is if he moves up in the ranks and acquires the managerial skills and, and, and skills that he needs to move up in the ranks, his experience at the ground, yeah, 
pays off. And that is literally what we do with the military. Yeah, the military, they may bring, bring in civilian advisors and stuff like that, but there's no sort of, I, I, the impression I get is the military is run by people who know what it is on the ground. Well, Rupert's who think they do. And look, you've got to give them some credit, haven't you? You know what I mean? They've got butlers. He looks more like Joe Keery from uh, Stranger Things. I can't believe that I'm actually on a YouTube show with my son and my son's on his phone. I mean, you are literally an example for generation, whatever generation it's, your generation is. I'm searching Lord Buckethead. Leave me alone. Hmm. <sighs> Jan's is saying, I also agree with you about bloated management in the NHS. I know I work for them, been there myself. Unless you are a full blown Rupert. True, true. My Rupert comment in the police, everyone starts, started, then they started uh, bringing in at higher ranks because they had management skills. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Generation Z. Are you Generation Z? Many of his behaviour child will be blasted in deep space and his also his parental will receive a rubbing fruit basket. Yes. Yeah. Why do you think I voted for him? That's incredible. I wanted you blasting into deep space in a fruit basket. That's beautiful. I love it. There's no point scro scrolling down. Once the words are finished, it's all no, adverts. There's one bit where it was adverts and then there was... Bits. Oh yeah, there's always adverts all the way down. Right, so Corbin is Generation Z. Right, what I'm going to do very quickly is I'm going to leave you with the boy. Yeah, I'm going to grab myself a quick drink. Yeah, and then when I come back, we're going to do the competition winners. <laughs> right, you can host the show. Oh my God, I get the big chair. You get the big chair. Don't drop your dad in the deep. Yeah, no problem. Okay, I'm only here. I'm only just grabbing a drink. Right, what's this competition then? Because I've got no idea. I'm going to do some painting. You know what? That's a good idea. Right. Give me a second there, guys. Let me cross real quick. That's really such a mess. I need to clean everything up, I tell you. Move Panda pan, pan, pan over there. Lifting. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. Hey. Right, move. Oh, I didn't get too long in this chair, did I? It's a bit sad. I was just saying that your room's a bit of a mess. Well, that's because of you. I didn't sort all this out, did I? It's all bloody everywhere. Right. Corb, lived in theme competition from Kickstarter. That's what the competition was. Oh, right. Right. Show the competition. Since the boy. Hmm? You're not even part of this, are you? Not really. No, not really. Oh, I know which one the winner is. I'm not going to say, but it's cool. I like the house. Yeah. It's a good house. Right. Over to the desktop. Right. We've got a figure and hope this works. Yeah? What? No matter. What are you scared about? I don't know. It's just... You, it just it, 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 that's one thing. When YouTube's gone to, like, they go onto Windows, it's always, a dodgy, it's always a dangerous thing. Why? I don't know. Have you ever seen all the videos of stuff? My YouTube has gone to like the internet and all the bloody search history pops up by accident. And people like screenshot it and stuff. You ever seen that stuff? Proper weird. Right. That's never been a concern about me sharing. Well. No, 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 no. We need never, to. No, no, no. Right. No, 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 no. We need to have a talk. Go on. Because I leave you in here on my computer. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I have absolutely no fear 
of search histories popping up. Why are you suddenly panicking about... I don't know, it's just something I see a lot. That's weird. I promise you. Have you typed... No. ...something into my search history? I'm, I'm, I'm not that, no. Is there something in my browser history that... No. If I put www.p, is something going to get auto-filled? No, actually. Right, folks, let me just say, from this moment on, anything could happen. It's all right, I haven't. It's all good. <laughs> Guilty as fudge, I know. I don't even want to put P in my order, <laughs> which is brighter right now. Cubs hair over his face. <laughs> <laughs> he looks proper guilty. No, he does, doesn't he? To be fair, I haven't actually. Yeah. Pat. Unlucky. Right, let's do this. Don't hyperventilate, Mel. Right. Okay, let's have a look at these small. Now, the lived in project was to create a piece or to uh, one of your previous pieces that gave the lived in feel and we started it off because it was this whole isolation thing and we were all lived in and we wanted small piece and large piece so for the small pieces and some of the small pieces are beautiful oh, is there a winner for a small and a large yes there is ah, right now this one's already been shared yeah wins. alan jeffries yeah is that are these all winners no these are all the entries oh right yeah or some of the entries are, what do you call it? Love this one. Yeah, small piece diorama. Look at the handle work. Look at all the little details that have gone into it. Yeah, it's really evocative. It reminds me a bit of, what do you call it? Uh, your favorite film, my favorite film. I named you after Fifth Element. Oh yeah, when he hides the guy in that drawer. Yeah, the meat popsicle. I am a meat popsicle. Yeah, <laughs> lovely episode, and the fact that there's this little shrine with a space marine, an epic space marine, that's wicked. Yeah. Okay, so that's Alan's entry. Did like that. I've got to figure out. Oh no! Right. Chat. Right. Wilco, okay, where's Wilco? <laughs> well, actually, we could have bacon buddies. Right. Gabriel's what you call it piece. This was lovely. Yeah. Uh, under the tree stump. Yeah. Look at the little details, the map. Yeah. Yeah, the tree stump work. Think that's a resin piece? That's nice. Yeah, six inches across. Oh, I like that. Yeah, the, that profile is really nice. You know, and it really is evocative. Yeah, it tells a story. Right. Does it? Yeah, it does. I can't see the story. That's because it's you. Right, on to Ian's piece. Yeah. Lovely scratch build here. Great detailing with a bit of plastic. Just basic boxing, but a few little elements. Bang. Nice graffiti. Love that. We'll figure out how to do this better. Okay, on to James. Now this one I did like, yeah? Just to show you the level of detail. I mean, it's not a structure as such, but look at that mess tin. I mean, that is, uh, there's no actual ruler or anything against it, so I can't judge the actual scale. But looking at the, those bits of balsa wood. That was quite small. 
Really? Yeah. I mean, he's used the top of a brush, yeah, as his, what do you call it? As his shaving brush Let's see, for that, it. That's about that size. About that, no, I think it's smaller than that, to be truthful. Nah, I'd, do, I'd say about that size seems right for me. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not getting sure. Smaller in it. Nah, you wouldn't get any smaller. Oh, there's Alan there. Hello, matey. Right. Amazing piece. Right, no, back, back. Mario's. Yeah. Now, Mario sent in a couple of pieces. Yeah, Sheriff Hut. Lovely little hangman's noose there. I think that's wire. Yeah. I'm curious as to what was actually used to make the TP. But... I have some proper dodgy page mache looking thing, yeah. Oh, like the bridge bark. It yeah. did look a bit birch barky, didn't it? You know that thing that stuff is. Yeah. Now this is this really, really hit home with me. Because this little resin goblin hut, that was the first piece of resin terrain I bought. And I bought it when I was on holiday in Bangor, North Wales, when I was seventeen with my first girlfriend. Yeah? Long before I met your mum. About five years before I met your mum. Yeah. But that uh, little goblin hut, and I've still got it somewhere. Yeah. Uh, literally is a blast from my past. Everyone's saying the YouTube chat has, has stopped. Right. Mm. I. We know what that is. What's that? Uh, restream cuts out after about 40 minutes on the, on the what you call it. Yeah. So... We just have to, I just have to go here to get the chat. Maybe we come up the building. The roof's come off my building. So okay. let me just pop that chat out. There you go, it's back on now. Your roof's back on your building. Did you see, the, did you see where I put the llama? Yes, I saw where you put the llama. Yep. Oh, quite CJ's saying, I swear I am. I had a plaster one of those. I definitely have a resin one, definitely. And it was it was a real blast from the past. You know when it pulls back a memory and I remember the entire holiday to be truthful. Blast. Yeah. Now, moving on, uh, that was Mario's. Right, over to our Pagan Shredheads. Yeah. yeah, love this one. Pagan has gone all out, yeah. Uh, look at the detail, the graffiti dude and the posters. Like the a bit poster. cheeky. I like the Coca-Cola poster. Uh, which one's the Coca-Cola poster? Left. See so yeah, the, the, that one, that one. No bother. Now I like the fact that this is actually a truck that's been extended. Yeah, really a real apocalypse. An unmobile home. <laughs> yeah, really good work, Pagan. Love this piece. Absolutely loved it. On to Roberto's. Now, Roberto's got ourselves, what do you call it? But court bark, definitely. Yeah. Hiding a little bivouac. You know that. You know that down to a T. Yeah. A little bivy. He's done a bivouac. Oh. Yeah. Court bark, bit of tree, lovely bit of work. Yeah. It is the most spacious and outdoor lived in uh, that we've got. I do like the green that you've done with the mold work on the bark. I really like that. Right. Ah, uh, Steve. Yeah. Yeah, go for your life, mate. Yeah. Excellent one. I'm trying to pick. Right, I am 100% sure that the root it's scratch built. I should have rechecked the email info that Dave sent. 
but lovely work. Love the moss work between the bricks. That moss work really is nice. Where's that? Right, that door. That door is one of the Mantic doors, so it is definitely scratch built. I'm pretty sure the door's been modified, but I'm pretty sure that's a Mantic door. Beautiful work, mate. Beautiful work. Ah. Oh, what's this? No, 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 not that. No, no. I've gone back too far. Right. Because the link I need to click on is in a private conversation. <laughs> I'm back. I know you're back. Yeah. So, uh, Timo Lane. Ah, the hook by the pond. Have you yeah. All of them? Uh, this is the last one. Resin work on this one. Lovely foliage and that sort of stuff as well. Yeah. Bosairi. Don't know what that means, but I don't know what it means. Neither do I. Yeah. If you're in the chat, Great mashup. If you're in the chat, would you mind like explaining to us what it means? Yeah, absolutely great mashup of pieces. Love the pond on that one. Genuinely do. Right. We need to go for a winner. Now the winner on this is already decided. Let me Yeah, and that is Gabrielle. Yeah, congratulate, congratulations, Gabrielle. Congrats. Listen, when I went through them all, yeah, this one really stuck out to me. I, not only just because of the detail and the combination of, you know, small pieces underneath and, you know, the tree stump and creating that uh, that sort of hobbit hole, but with the map and the details, it's, it's a, like hiding away. And when I saw it, I immediately thought I wanted to know what he was planning under that tree stump. Immediately, as soon as I saw it, it's like, what's he up to under there? Yeah. And for me, that was, the, it was the combination of everything. It just told such a story and asked a, such a question that, you know, of all the entries, which were all great, yeah, this one won. So in the small category, congratulations to Gabrielle. The rest of you did have some amazing pieces though. Yeah, lovely pieces. And there were things on every piece that I thought were brilliant. So all the entrants, please do not put yourself down. So there's going to be more competitions. Uh, so that sounds right, Kat. Is that Guido Fawkes planning his attack on Parliament? I don't know. Guido Fawkes. Right. Large. Right, what are we on? We are ticking along? Well, actually, we're doing all right, aren't we? Right, let's uh, go from the start. Alex. Now, Alex I built know, this. this one. Yeah, this is a her start piece. For the large category straight off i'm not going to show you all the photos but damn Looks all right, yeah there, just he's gone full bore with the brick casting here Looking there, good, yeah. Yeah, yeah and i mean we've done her starts dungeons haven't we in big pieces that, that stuff's fun. yeah it is fun but we've got stacking storage boxes full of bricks we have and he <laughs> is i mean alex has gone all out on this one love the details You've used pretty much every mould you can get your hand on in the field st stone one, I think. Yeah, and you can see at the back his clear casting bench. So cracking one on that. That 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 was very evocative. Yeah, uh, reminded me and me of uh, the dungeons me and Corb used to build. Right. Okay. Next, we got Alfred. Yeah, lovely scratch build one here, yeah. Definitely a scratch build. 
definitely put a lot of effort into this yeah individual brick work yeah the timber work the wooden daub looks like the 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 railing around the the watch call it the landing it was a little bit tricky but we have all been there one of the massive shout outs i want to to sort of point out is his attention to detail on this yeah oh, the well the fireplace is good but if you look underneath the the sort of awning it's yeah he's actually detailed the underneath of it and that's that's rare so he's actually looked at that and gone, actually, I need planking there as well. Otherwise, you're going to see wherever. And that's rare. Most people, and even me, I just paint that. So big shout out on that one. Oh, no. Oh, no, not Dropbox. How do I go forward? Right. You've got to sign back in again. No, I haven't got to yeah. sign back in again. I've just got to click a link. <laughs> At the same time, I've got to copy it in case this happens again. Uh -huh. There we go. Right. So, over to Alan. Yeah. Lovely piece, this one. Yeah. Pretty simple. But a lovely combination of, of a few different elements. I'm Alex. Actually, Alexis, but no worries. Sorry, dude. Yeah. A lot of interesting elements on this combined. Yeah, brickwork's pretty simple, but picked out the individual pieces. Yeah, lovely little bit of work on old Lianach Cottage. Looking pretty nifty. Love the effort. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, this another one, another scratch build. Yeah, really nice and clean. Okay, a lot of details. Yeah, but I do like... Yeah, the flowers and the effort put into oh, set. I mean, look at the garden work Ooh. as well. I mean, the building's nice and clean and it is a, a, a lovely build. Yeah, but the extra detail put into the garden really pays it off. And now I'm having a cheeky nose at some of his other stuff in the yeah, background. Yeah, I know. I was having a look at that. <laughs> yeah, I see some old uh, GW rocks there where they've given him a quick blast of white from one direction to paint him. Yeah, but going back to the house, once again, lovely detail on that one. Yeah, especially the stones. Yeah, it's a good way of hiding the transition between the path to the grass work. And I'm going to nick that. <laughs> so, Anja, so you know very nice. When nicks your work. Right, this one, this is cheating. Oh. I want to make this clear. This is cheating. Because all they've done is got a bloody bit of a tree stump, yeah? No, Stuck it to no, a base with some... That, no, no, no. That, that's integration. No, I'm not. I'm not what you call it. I'm, say, I'm not saying I don't like it. I love it. I think it's brilliant. I just think the fact of how they've got there... I like how they built it through the roots of the trees. They must have got a shovel and probably dug it out of part of the ground. I don't know where they've got that bit of tree from. They've dug it up out of the ground. You can see the roots. And everything they've got a tree stump. Not really yeah, bad. I mean it works really well for an endor piece. I mean, but it's wrong. Can I just point out quickly? You can tell they put effort when the garden, like a big hole in their garden now. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, look at the size of these chunks and stuff. It works really well. Actually, they might have got you know those fish stalls that you can get stuff for like your fish tanks. I don't know. Like big ones. I don't know. Well, I so genuinely don't know, mate. Fish tank, you have something like that. You get like a big tree stump for all. Of Nick it for me. Go around calling it a knicker tree out of his fish tank. Oh, yeah, Nick. <laughs> Mate, he's got some like tiny sharks in there. I'm not putting my hand in. He's got tiny sharks in there. I've seen them, little tiny sharks. No. I've never seen them. He's got two of them. Actually, no, he's got one now because the one that's passed away. He's got two, like, two little tiny sharks, like this big. What? That, that. <laughs> that's right. Why, that's why I don't put my hand in. Yeah. Anyway, the end or set really loved what you did here, mate. Really loved. A combination of a few pieces. Yeah. And bang, whole thing came alive. Pretty swiftly. So Ben, cracking one on that one, mate. I like it. Eleonora. Yeah, Eleonora, House on the Hill. Now, this was a little bit of a rough photo, but, but I like yeah. It. First off, you can see the house is a separate element on the hill. 
Yeah, it's not built into the hill. You can also see the house is clearly scratch built, okay, because of the separate layers and that sort of stuff, which means the, hill. the brick and the tile work is excellent. But I'm going to echo what you call it, Corbin's comments. That's a really nice hill. I realise it's a bitty photo, yeah, but, but to be fair. you can see the effort that's gone in with the foliage work, yeah, and to get the variation in the colours and that sort of I stuff. I like I've done like, them do it on the actual side of it as well, not just on the top. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's got the crevices, you know, it, it's got foliage and, you know, moss and, yeah, different colours. So, although it's a bad photo, I can actually tell that that's a really nice piece of terrain. Yeah, and looking at the sort of tile work on the watch color on the roof, yeah, I have no doubt that if it was a clearer photo, a lot of effort has gone into that. So kudos, yeah, and kudos on the hill as well. Nice one, Eleonora. Oh, I've done it again. Ha. Keep doing it. Right, over to Jeremy. Jeremy Mills. Yeah, he's built as a watch it, a oh, scene. All right. I love this. This is the really good polystyrene they get in the States. Yeah. Yeah, compared to our stuff, our stuff looks like it'd work really well. It does, it does, mate. Can you get our stuff imported or something? Uh, I'm, I'm, I've, I've got to explore. I've got to explore it. Yeah. Cheap yeah. I've got, so obviously, building the long, large scene, grass work. I need to get to the end where the finished photos are, not I the like build. I've actually done the steps in one, but I've just shown you how they've done it. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, do you see how it's coming together? Yeah, I like that. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, so this is a, an amazing, like, above ground and below ground with a water piece. I mean, he has gone all out here on this one. Yeah, it's difficult to see from the photos, so I mean, to it's not that one. Where, go back to the other. There, yeah. you can see the underground piece here. Yeah, so he hasn't just created, you know, the lake and going into the, the waterfall and that sort of stuff. He's created an even, what you call it? Yeah. She was in a cave. Yeah, a, an underground element. And that's kudos. You know, that's, I mean, that, that's more than I, I... One thing I can think to top it off. You'd have to, you see where the other path up to the top above, okay, well, above that underground bit? Yeah. At the edge of that path, they should do an entrance to a cave into it. If that's the only one thing I can imagine that have made that look better. Other than that, that'd be beautiful. I thought there was an entrance to the cave to it. Oh, I didn't see one. There, isn't that what it is? I think that bit next to the steps could be it. Yeah. I mean, the thing uh, is, there's <laughs> steps to it. Yeah. I don't know, it might be. I can't see from this side, can you, where the cave entrance would be? No, I, I don't know if that's just aesthetic or... No, because it, they're too dark, we can't see if it... Yeah, see? Yeah, there is actually. Yeah, yeah, right, definitely. Yeah, so, yeah, he's there. nailed it. <laughs> there you are, you get Corb's seal of approval. Corb's Jeremy? John Breeder. Right. This one was lovely. Well, actually, there's, there's a few bits in there, but yeah. it's, uh, I think it's a foreground house. Yeah, you can see by the doors and stuff now it's been put. I'm pretty sure it's a foreground, or at least one a, long, one a similar, yeah? yeah? But the weathering on this, really lovely. Yeah, the addition of the actual rubble, yeah? I like the smoke on the top. On the top yeah, the yeah. yeah like it that. works. It works really well, and it sets a scene. Yeah. Okay. Cottage on a hill. Lovely little bit of uh, bark work there. Yeah. Looks like a bit of ruined. Is that a, a skeleton watch call it? I wasn't sure. I think that's one of the old GW zoom skeletons. In. Zoom in at the bottom. I can't tell. It, it definitely has skeleton like. It does. I like, I like yeah. on the roof, to be fair. I like the roof on that building. Yeah. Combination of different flocks, that sort of stuff, does look good. Nice piece. 
Yeah, I like the little details on it. I like the little wheel. Yeah. And there's a few details all around. There's the spade and the moss work and that sort of stuff. Yeah, the moss work was quite nice. Right. Like that. Now, uh, Pete. Ah. What? Yeah. This is isolation. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, loads of details on it. It's a mashup of you know scratch I build to make to watch. make like an apocalypse home. I'd like that. Yeah, like it's inside a tank, but you can barely yeah, see that. it's you a tank. tank treads, can't you? Yeah, I'd like I'd have something like that for a walk, like an walk place or something. Yeah, yeah, it is a proper mashup. Lots of little details, but the fact that you struggle to see it's inside a tank that like really fact shows. That it's inside a tank. Say again. The fact that it's inside the tank, I'll not take out it. Yeah. So, excellent work on that. Excellent. Actually, excellent. One thing. Did you actually, like, do the inside of the tank as well? Is there, like, actual stuff in there as well? I can't. There's no interior photos that I can see. If you're in the chat, would you mind telling us? Yeah, you keep an eye on the chat. Dave, missed you too, mate. Need to catch up. Right. You're not saying hello to Dave? Oh, hey Dave. <laughs> oh my, Dave. Yeah, Dave. Oh my god. Oh, sorry, it took me a moment. How are you? Come on, I feel like I'm doing that. We'll have to go down and see him and socially distance see him. All right? Yeah, sound. Yeah. Your little grass ball, is, a rice I ball, has, ball. Yeah. <laughs> has grown up greatly. Yeah, a bit bigger now. Probably can't do right. good shoulders. Photos from Rich, lovely scratch build here. Yeah, clearly a scratch build. There you go. But look at the details that he's put into it. I mean, that's detailed. Considering he has built it from scratch. I thought, what's he watching on TV? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the thing. Yeah. Not only do we get to review your, your, your terrain, mate, it's we get to review your home as well. She's that damn bolt. Yeah, it's a <laughs> dice. Looks like a dice, but it looks like a weird dice. You you do see some, some some things in the back of these photos that people <laughs> don't forget. They don't realise that are there, mate. <sighs> oh, I like that. He's, he's got his stuff arranged well in the shed, hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> see, people don't realise, yeah, that nice you know, when they're taking the photo of the train, always consider what's in the background. Ah, the guy who did the background on his images and made it all great. He was smart. <laughs> yeah, but if you can see, this is a scratch build, yeah, and everything is scratch built. Love it. <laughs> yeah, he, the doors. I mean, he's making it literally out of his coffee box, a which coffee box. I like that. No, no, he, he likes the sachet coffees. <laughs> this is awful. Right. Not the build. He's got books about knowledge. <laughs> That's dangerous. Yeah. Anyway, going back. Yeah, <laughs> clearly you can see that this is a scratch build. Yeah, <laughs> from the stop. And it has turned out amazing. Yeah. Wow. So excellent work, mate. Absolutely excellent. I like the windows. I like, top ones the I like the door more than anything. The door is all right. I, I don't know why, I just like it. I like the top windows with the open hatch. What, with the shutters? But excellent work, Rich. Right. Roger? Roger. Yeah, General Lee's HQ. Ooh. Now, Ooh, I like that. looking at it, that's a scratch build. Yeah. And I'll say that because I like the roof. I like the like little. Like, the details side. aren't like perfect enough for it to be a three D print or something like that, which means someone's made that. I like that bit there. Yeah, the, the trellising. Yeah, yeah I do. Yeah, cool, but I like it. Yeah. You've done nicely. Very nicely. Got some smoke coming out of there. Yeah, and, and it's there. a historic build, so he's actually gone for something that existed, and that's a challenge because you've got to match it. You know, yeah. and there will be. I mean, I don't know what General Lee's, what you call it, HQ look like, but you can be damn sure there will be historical players who do and have probably visited it. And so that's a challenge terrain wise. Yeah, yeah not just to build a realistic piece. 
Yeah. But to match it to what's historic, historically true. So kudos for that. I like it. All right, last guy now, Simon Newlett. Yeah, this. Dude. Just dude. I mean, I know you want to win your Imperial Games... <laughs> but they're stacking the board with elevated fire positions. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it works. <laughs> it works. No, actually, you know I love trenches and that sort of stuff, and I love defences, and I like the top. this is right up my street. But, dude, what the hell are you expecting to go against that? Actually, yeah, my tell tyrannies. <laughs> <laughs> they go straight up that. They go up that like there was no stopping them. Yeah, lovely work, mate. Lovely layering. Okay, a lot of it is plastic stuff, and you've combined that, but you've done a good job. I like, I like the background hills. If you look yeah, yeah, I like the stepped. I'm yeah. not. I'm not sure I'd have those steps like that because any bugger is going to climb up those. But integrating the steps yeah, and then the building your own gateway. Yeah, that fits with the plastic work. That's kudos, mate. I like how the actual gate itself, like it rolling off the side of it. Looks like some of the clean Star Wars. Yeah. Martin saying, don't take photos with a mirror behind them, especially if you're naked. Yeah. Then, do you, do you, what do you call it? No, I won't tell Corb about my, my hobby of reviewing, watch, reading uh, Amazon <laughs> reviews for webcams. Oh, yeah, Jason needs a chat with me in it. Okay, oh, what's he up to? Do I need to know anything? No, not really. All right. Right, so it is competition winner time. Now I've got to find the competition winner. I think I remember who it was. Yeah. Let's see if I can get it. I think it was. Who? Don't say the name in case you're wrong. Yeah, yeah. Just point at it. I don't think it was. I'll just check it. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Oh. Oh. This one, I Alan. I thought it was somewhere Yeah, Lanark Cottage Culloden. Yeah, I love this piece. Now, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, the models are not in scale with the door. Yeah, wow. don't care. Absolutely don't care. I'll tell you why I love this piece. It's because it's a basic piece, and you know that. We all know that. I can see the brickwork. I can see the door work, yeah? I can see the roof work, yeah? But I can look at this and immediately know, yeah, looking... Mad effort put into that. Yeah, this, whoever has done this has done the best job they can, yeah, with the materials they had, and the skills and well, knowledge. Tell, this isn't like a company or someone who's no, no, this, living. This is someone who's taken the time out of the day. This is someone who's, out. I want to do this. You know, and they've I done it, it and they've done, a, and they've used everything to try and make it as good as possible. I, like I love it. the tufts on the roof. That must have taken time. It's not just that, the little idea of including them. Yeah. Yeah? You know, to, the, the effort to try. Just some wandering hobbits. <laughs> Just some wandering hobbits. That's gonna be us soon. Yeah. So Alan Henson. I love yeah. It. Old Lenach Cottage, Culloden. Congratulations, winner of the large category. Above all, yeah, all the entries, yeah, brought a smile to my face. There were little things on all of them. The level of little details and the effort that had gone in, yeah, makes me proud to be a Terraniac. Okay, who's second place then? I have no idea. I wasn't supposed to pick a second place winner, was I? Can I pick a second place winner? No, you've got to be careful, because this is a proper competition. What do we? So, no, no, there wasn't a second place winner. I'm oh. damn sure there wasn't. Just winner for large, winner for small. I want to pick a, like a second place winner. Who, okay, for Corbin's, what you call it? For Corbin, and it's got to, you've got to pick out a big and small. Okay, can I have a just look, quick look through them all? And all you get for Corbin, for what you call it, for this, is kudos from Corbin. There is yeah. no prize. Corbin's yeah, I can't Corbin. change things on a live show with Dave. You get a sticker. You get a sticker <laughs> no, you can't even. Dude, don't even <laughs> say stickers, because we'll have to get stickers and send exactly. them out. Stop making work for your dad and Dave. Corbin's stick of approval. <laughs> 
<laughs> sticker, yeah, yeah. Yeah. sticker of approval. Yeah, right, Corb, go on then. And you're not looking through them. Which, which no. If I, I, I've picked the winners, if you can't clearly... You had these. What? You had time to pick them. Oh, Corb, you're a git. Yeah, that's a... that one there. You're going to go through them all again slowly, aren't you? Just. Which one are you thinking about? That one. This one? Yeah, that was the one. All right, Corb has declared a... What you call it? A winner is own. Uh, yeah, this is this is purely kudos from Corbin. Yeah. Yeah. So, Anja. Yeah. You get a Corbin sticker of approval. Now, I'd like to make that clear that uh, Corbin Bose is liable for the for providing yeah. that sticker. Where uh, myself and Dave and Terrain Essentials team take no liability yeah, for creating fine. that sticker. That if you email me, I will forward your email to him, yeah. and then you'll you'll either not get a reply or you'll get some sort of fair, bullshit. To be fair, I check my email quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, but the chances of you actually getting a watch got sticker are pretty rare. I'll sort it. <laughs> Son, I love you. I really do. Yeah, but I've got to say, I do agree with him. Yeah. If if for anything, not for the house, but for, for the, the garden. Greenery. Yeah, for the greenery and all that. Love it. Yeah, it is lovely. Love Baldo in the background. <laughs> right, guys. So, it's been good to be back. And we are back. Yeah, uh, back in the saddle. Book work continues, apologies, life, yeah. I'll say no more than that, than all that I'm focusing on work-wise is finishing off little bits and getting it in your hands because that's what we all want, okay? Yeah. In the meantime, we are quarter past the hour. We have Fellowship to watch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Can't wait. Yeah. It's been a really good show, folks. Thanks for joining. Yeah. Thanks for keeping me company. See, people actually like my choice. So it's good choice. I like your choice. It's a good choice. Mm, yeah. Choice. Don't get saddle sores. Uh, what's next week's plan? Uh, tell you what, I'll throw a live show up on Wednesday. Yeah. I'll put a post up. I'll do one on Wednesday and then we'll do Sunday because I need to be doing stuff now. You know what I mean? And I don't want to be... Uh, trying to negotiate around live shows. So I'm not going to disappear until next Sunday. I will see you next Wednesday. Okay? Yeah, I will throw a notice up giving time. We'll have a longer show. And not just that, it'll give me an opportunity to bring some stuff back that I can physically work on. Especially now we have the new webcams and we can do the three camera work. Yeah? So uh, I'm back in the saddle. My back is fixed. I fixed. Yeah, the black dog is is jogging by my side happily and not hounding me. <sighs> Crazy life, let's keep rolling, eh? Right, folks. Don't dunk your toast in your tea and have a good time. And I'll see you on Wednesday and we'll see what this crazy world is up to then, eh? All the best. In the meantime, I'm going to sort my stickers of approval. <laughs> All the best. Ta -da. Uh, see you all later, guys. That was a really good show. I liked it. Oh, I've got to say goodbye, yeah. <laughs> Laters, folks. Ta-da. <laughs>